a radioactive decay problem, which works just the same as an exponential growth model, except that the growth rate is negative because things are decaying or reducing over time. We're given this model and we're told how much we start with, that we start with 50 milligrams of this gold isotope, and we're told that T is measured in days. The first thing we'll do then is fill in everything we know in the model. So the amount at any given point in time is the original amount, which we're told is 50, times e to the negative 0.2596, that was given in the model, times t. Now if we're predicting how much will be left after a week, we notice that t is measured in days, so we'll need to let t equal 7. In the calculator, I'll start by simplifying the exponent, so negative 0.2596 times 7, then raise e to that answer, and then multiply that answer times 50. So I do the exponent first, and then the multiplication, following order of operations. This model predicts that after a week, just over eight milligrams of this gold isotope will be left. Again, because it's decaying, the amount drops from 50 to just over eight in this week.